Welcome back. Yesterday's New York Times featured a profile of the tiny nation of Montenegro, part of the former Yugoslavia. I just returned from a family trip there. My wife and I and our four children, accompanied by my mother, traveled to the town of Satinia to see where my ancestors came from. My grandmother, Victoria Ivanasevich, was the daughter of Milo and Milicia. Milo was a shoemaker who made boots for King Nicholas Petrovic, who reigned over Montenegro from 1910 until 1918. That's the shoemaker outside of his shop. And this is the king's official portrait. It now hangs in the state museum. He's wearing boots made by my great-grandfather. My grandmother married a man from the same town. He worked in the coal mines of America, sent back money so that she could join him here. And here, the family name, Griacic, became Grovich. They learned English, they assimilated, and they raised 11 children. Those 11 raised their own children, myself included, who today enjoy a great quality of life in America. For my family, this is a remarkable story. By American standards, not so much. In the United States, countless family histories read the same as mine, and many are more astounding. My ancestors played by the rules, and any roadmap for the future needs to ensure that today's immigrants do likewise. Before determining what a path toward citizenship should look like, our government needs to first take control of our borders. But we also need to ensure that legal immigration continues. This is an exceptional country, fostered by a melting pot that encourages the pursuit of dreams. Immigrants are by nature ambitious. They are risk takers. They bear the characteristics of entrepreneurs who are still the economic lifeblood of this country. There's a tendency to believe that stories like that of my ancestors and maybe yours are only the stuff of a bygone era and past generations, but really they're still unfolding each day. And if the economic opportunity that is the hallmark of our country is to continue, it will need to be reinvigorated by future generations, ones willing to accept America's precepts as they pull themselves up by their own bootstraps.